Hi, this is Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where I have real conversations with actors and TV stars. Today I'm talking to Jeremy Wade. He and I get really personal in this conversation, so you want to stick around till the end. Here we go. Are you an extrovert, do you think, or are you kind of an introvert? I would say I'm definitely an, an introvert. Um, you are. Mm, ah. mm, which, is, which, is, which is quite weird if you end up... Um, uh, presenting TV programs that have audiences numbering into into the million. I mean, it's it's, it's actually it, it's. I, I do find that I don't I don't like watching myself back. Um, I'm, it's getting easier, but when I started started doing it, um, it's a bit like hearing your voice recorded. It's like, oh, it don't really sound like that, and and I get the same thing visually. It's like, oh, you know, I can't believe how 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 badly i'm doing that but i think over the yeah over the years i've i've improved and, and, I, and again I, I suppose the thing about making a tv program is um you know it's it's it's, it's what i do for work there you know there is a director there is somebody saying to me I, I i respond well to being pushed and so what i do like in a lot of the programs um is is going into a situation where I'm meeting people and talking to people. So for one thing I do quite a lot, I go, I'll, I'll go into a fish market and right, let's just, you know, crowded, busy fish market. Let's just get in there and talk to some people. You're getting in the way sometimes. Visually, it's brilliant. And I love that. And it's, it's not the kind of thing that I would normally do, but you're given that little bit of confidence by the fact that, um, I am part of a film crew. This is, you know, this is, this is our, you know, it's a camera again, it's interesting. That affects how other people react. And I mean, it, some people, it can make them a bit defensive. Other people, it's just like, oh, it just changes the dynamic of the situation. The camera's there in the background. Here comes somebody. And it, it you know, it's, it, 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 it can sort of, it can sort of add a little bit of, ma a little bit of magic, you know, rather than being intrusive, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to explain, but but yes, it, it's yeah, it kind of adds excitement it, a little bit, I think. Yeah, and and um, but yes, in, in terms of how it affects me, I think I, I think I am a different person on screen. That's the thing. It's you know there, there there is a screen persona which is not me, and sometimes I can and, I, and I'm trying to narrow the distance. I mean, what I'm doing, I mean, I've been going for a long time now, and uh, when people talk about uh, being a host or a presenter you tend to think of going into a certain mode where you're quite bombastic and you're waving your arms around and it's high energy and all the rest of it. The kind of presenting that I like is, is, is much more conversational, a bit more friendly. It's more confiding and it's actually very hard to do. And that's what and I'm trying to get closer and closer to that because that's what I think works really well. And that's what people um, respond to and, and identify with a, a bit better. So that's interesting. So how did you identify that yourself? And then what are you trying to do to get more into that? Like, what's the process and how did you figure it out? Um, well, I think um, I, I mentioned that I don't like seeing myself on screen, but when I, when I am a little bit more sort of natural, um, that just comes across better to me and also when i see other people doing stuff you know that's what i like and, and i think um how you get there is because the thing is you you know you want it to look very spontaneous and like you just came out with that but a lot of the things that look easy are actually quite hard to do and they're not spontaneous you might need a few goes at it and i think so it's what you don't want to do is 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 script what you want to say but you want to you, but you want to have in your head you want to have an understanding of of what you're trying to get across and you want to have sort of stepping stones this is where i start and i you know i go here here and then this is this is where i finish and um and what's great about that as well is you can you can then you can then sort of walk and talk. You can be doing that. Uh, you can be saying that while you're doing something as well. So you get that visual interest as well. And I, again, I like I like that. I like a bit of visual movement rather than just cameras in your face and you're just talking to the camera. Um, I like the whole thing where I I, um, I like the idea that the viewer is almost next to me. I'm just talking over my shoulder. You know the viewer is actually coming along with me is on is on the journey so it, it is like i'm doing something and i just i'm just turning turning my head and i'm explaining occasionally and i go and when it works that 
you know that that for me is 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 how you know this kind of tv should yeah. be yeah so you feel it you know when it's working and you're like then you can think about it later be like yes that mm. was what i was going for and that's what i want to do more of i totally get that exactly and i think uh, you know the other the other thing that i do from time to time is i bring in other people we have other contributors uh, and again the traditional way of that is you sit somebody down they're facing you and and you just shoot in their face and in your face and then you do those dreadful you know the noddies where the camera you know can you you know can you just nod can you smile can you look can you look surprised and then the editor sort of puts it all together and it, and it all sort of works but i i, I like something that's uh you know Again, if I'm if I'm relaxed, I can just go and talk to somebody, and maybe they're expecting an interview. I mean, you you know you're obviously good at this. You just start having a general chat, and then and then the inter- seamlessly it turns into an interview. And, and and same thing, you know, it's just well, let's just you know we just let's just turn the camera on, let's just go there, and and the, you know the, the, maybe they, have we started? Yeah, yeah, we've yeah we've done it. You know, it's yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I think that's what yeah, people like because yeah. it's just the real. I don't know. I mean, I can't really explain why people like it, but I'm with you. I think people do. Yeah. I like it. Mm. I, you know, I like it when people are just actually who they are rather than putting on this persona. And I guess to some degree, you need to have a little bit of a persona when you're actually trying to entertain not only the camera, because that's a, t- you know, some people can do it with the camera and some people can't, but then also knowing that there's so many people that, you know, you're leading through this thing. But I yeah. do think that when you're real, your true self comes through, people really respond to that. I think so. There's there's one there's one strange thing though that you've got to work through, and that is that there, there is this whole thing that when you are being filmed, there's something about a camera. Is it is is it does it, it somehow sucks the, a certain amount of energy out of you? So if you if you act normally, it, it can look like you're on tranquilizers, and and oh, and so and so what you know what so a lot of people will compensate by you know the, the, you know waving arms around and 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 that kind of thing. Um, but I think you, you know, you have to sort of dial things up a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise, you you do appear just to be very, you know, sort of very sleepy and, and and dull. And I I've no idea why that is. Um, you know, you would think that how a person is is exactly how that's how the camera captures them. But for some reason, it just it it just appears a little bit flat. And you've got right. to do, you, you know, you've got to try and just just put in a little bit more energy. Yeah, that's interesting because that was part of why when I started the podcast, it had no video at all. So it was just audio that I was taking at the beginning. And I firmly believed that not having a camera there really helped the conversation because Mm -hmm. both of us could really not feel like we were being watched. And it was just like we were sitting in somebody's living room or a coffee shop and we're having a conversation. And so then when uh, it was recommended that I take some videos, I did a little video with you last time, Mm -hmm. but most of it was just audio. I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And at the beginning, I felt like I do think it's so different. But now, I don't know. I kind of feel like even when there's a camera there, people are more aware. But I do realize that you still can have that real conversation. And I think it has to, I'm not sure why it may have to do with, I don't know, whatever the, whoever the people are and however they feel about, I don't know. I I think it's interesting what you're saying there, because I think you see what's happening at the moment is I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah. If it was if it was a camera in my face, that would that would be that would be totally different. And and I think when you know when we met before, talking face to face, even though there's not a camera, is very different from say talking on the phone. You yes. know, if you if you see somebody, you you know you've you've got um, you've got that other other dimension of uh, of communication going on. So I think and and also that relates back to the whole thing I I was talking about just now about if I go and interview somebody in inverted commas, uh, instead of sitting them down and, and the cameras in their face, you know, if it's just me turning up and, and, you know, I am what they're paying attention to and the camera is just lurking somewhere on, on the edges, then, then they sort of forget about that. And it becomes more of a thing with me, with me and them. Right. And, and you, and you get a better sense of, of them out of it. I guess part of it then is where the cameras are going to be set up or how, mm. right? You think that has something to do with it? Uh, yes, I think, um, oh, I mean, you know, camera work in itself, I mean, is uh, the, the best camera people I found are the, you know, the, the ones who have a real instinct. And it's, it's not about necessarily rules. I, I mean, again, the, the, you know, the kind of camera work that I like just sort of drifts around and 
you know, you know, one thing that some people can try and do is, is, you know, you, you, you want to be on somebody when they say something very significant. Um, but you don't necessarily need to be on, on people all the time. And I, I think you know, a confident camera person can sometimes be on one person and then they just drift towards the other one. They're not whipping backwards and forwards, boom, boom, boom. You know, that becomes very high energy. What's that person doing, you know, running around, you know, uh, and the right. camera's just, just drifting around, you, you know, it's, um, that's so interesting. Yeah. Um, it's funny because we, my, my daughter and I were watching a movie the other night and it was like, it wasn't the great, I'm not going to say the name of the movie, but it wasn't right. great. And you could see that one of the big flaws was the camera work mm -hmm. that I don't know. It was so noticeable that it just wasn't good or it wasn't right. And you don't even, most of the time, unless it's really stunning, you don't even notice the camera work. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but then you realize when you see something where it's bad camera work, just how critical yes. a talented, you know, uh, yes. person behind the camera makes such a big difference. So Absolutely. it is so interesting. And like, it's not something I would normally think of, but you know that obviously, because you think about that a lot. Well, I think it's, it's interesting because I think, I think you will notice it if it gets to a level where, where you, you consciously notice it. But I think before you get to that point, sometimes there's stuff going on which you, you don't consciously notice, but, be, but because it's not quite right, it just, you know, it just doesn't feel... Yeah. Again, it's one of those things, like I say, if, if it's... If, it it can it can look really easy and and almost a little bit sort of sloppy um but you know if something if something's if something is done well and it works well it sort it sort of looks like it's easy and it looks like there's no thought gone into it you know but actually yeah. a lot of thought has gone into it yeah and mm. i appreciate it. i definitely mm. appreciate that um mm. so it is interesting though how you said so we started talking about the camera and everything else and how you're able to be more uh or you're naturally more i don't know what the word is when there's a camera on you but you started by saying that you're an introvert so yeah, right now uh, i don't see any evidence of you being an introvert well i mean what it helps if you have a if you have a context where you know what you're gonna you you know that you're going to be talking about something that you know something about. I, I think uh, what is uh, the kind of person I would like to be. I, I've got friends who are just brilliant raconteurs. You know, you just they they will just you get into a conversation with them and they'll just be talking about any kind of stuff. They, you know, something that just happened to them. They are just entertaining you, and I, and I'm I'm not like that. I, I wish I was. Um, I can I can talk about what I know, but I can't just riff on stuff that's going on around me. Um, so yes, I, I am more outgoing uh, when there's a camera around because normally I, I've I've got a bit of an idea of of, of what's going to happen, and I know the subject matter. So if I'm pushed into that situation, I can I can look after myself. It's, yes, it's doing it's, it's doing your homework, which is. Um, uh, Again, a lot of people would say with river monsters, you know, oh, don't you get scared going into these, these, uh, you know, these, these, these crazy places and these gnarly fish. And it's well, you would do if you hadn't done your homework. But if you do your homework, uh, then no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this. Um, I understand the environment. I understand the creatures. Um, okay, we might get a little bit sort of close to the edge now and then, but I, I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm confident. Yeah, it's your comfort zone, clearly. So it sounds like yeah. when you're when you're home, then you probably have no problem being alone, like for hours at a time and not talking to anybody. Is that right? Yeah. I, um, yes. No, that, I mean, you know, that that could come across as a bit sad. You know, I can I, I can I can be well. I I, I can be pretty self sufficient. The days actually go very quickly. I'm I'm finding that I'm I'm very busy. Um, but that's what an introvert needs, I think, is that time to recharge where they don't have to be like interacting yeah. with other people. It's good. I think, I think balance is good. I mean, I, I, I do spend a lot of time living inside my head. I do, I do, I do think about things and, and, uh, but I think you, you've got to counterpoint that with, uh, contact with real people in the real world. Very, very important. If you, yeah, it's, 
and I think particularly these days, you know, what we're, what we're seeing a lot of is um, a lot of people doing so much interacting with a screen and what and, and, and they're searching out material um, on their computer and the, and the whole way that the information technology works it's like oh you like this kind of stuff we will give you more of this kind of stuff so you end up um, the stuff that comes at you is totally filtered you are literally living in your own world you know you've created your own world which you project on the real world and you you know you need to get out there occasionally and just check that the real world is what the, right, your computer right. is telling you what it's like you know so go out and talk to lots of different people uh, get your information from lots of different sources you know that is the healthy thing to do yeah uh, it's and, almost and, like and, and real people as well because you know you know there are people who i who i disagree with but i quite like you know and i think it's important to have that situation rather than hating you know getting in this state where you just hate everybody who doesn't think the way you do so how do you think over the years, I know you've been through so many changes over the years. How do you think you've evolved as a person? Like, how are you different now from the person that you were, I don't know, when you were 25 or something? Ooh, well, I think, uh, I think you know, a, a lot of people when they are 25 have a fairly good idea of, of the direction they're going in, or they, you know, they, they might be in a sort of a steady job or anything or something like that. Um, I mean, it took me uh i have i have been just bouncing around um so this this whole tv thing that i'm doing now i've only been doing let me see uh continuously for for about 12 years so I, you know I, I i was getting i was at the point where some people are considering early retirement before i got my my regular work you know so That's so when so i so, yeah so 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 when i was younger um, I, I suppose my life was very defined by uncertainty. You know, I didn't know I was doing a bit of this, a bit of that. I was, I was hoping that I would find something that, um, you know, like, like all people, something that would uh, provide uh, a living, but also that I would be interested in. And I found it quite hard looking at looking at how the world was. You know, the, the, the world is sort of it's. Yeah, I'm afraid to say, you know, it, it, it is a myth to say that, you know, it's, it's not all about hard work. Um, a certain amount of luck is involved. And for an awful lot of people, that, that you know, that, that magical position of, of um, you know, doing something that you, you're, you're interested in, which also keeps you going, really hard to find, really hard to find. Um, and and I think yeah I, I spent a lot of time doubting that I would that I would find that and so now um, yeah I I, I I pinch myself occasionally um, I, you know I do wish I could somehow mail some money back to my younger self you know I was I was I was quite impoverished a lot of the time you know sort of like oh. <laughs> you know, just what's in this envelope? There we go. Um, it, you know, would have made made life a little bit more fun um, occasionally, perhaps. But uh, <laughs> if only, could you <laughs> imagine, like when you were younger, you would get money in the mail for yourself, <laughs> and you would know that. Don't worry, Jeremy. Like it's all going to be fine. You're not even going to believe what's ahead of you. Yeah. Could you imagine? Maybe in the future that will be possible. We can we can do that. You know, just so send it through a, a, a time portal. But <laughs> but uh, so being a bit more serious, I, th I think it's, uh, it it makes me appreciate where I am now. Um, yeah. I might have mentioned this when I spoke to you before. I mean, the th my um, both my parents passed away before before things came good for me. And 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 in in one sense, you know, a lot of what you do is is you know it, it, you know th th they are a big audience and and it's you know they had they had a lot of faith in me uh, even when it looked like i was possibly not going anywhere but you know what you're doing is interesting and it's just a shame that they weren't really able to see how that suddenly you know suddenly yeah. happened. so 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 you know there's part of me that thinks uh, you know um What's the word? You know, part of me thinks you know it, that it, that it's almost you know not 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 irrelevant, but it's not it, it's not such a big deal. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what, what I'm doing now. Um, That's tough. But, yeah. 
Because it is a big deal, but it, it's, if only they could have seen, because they watched you through all of those times. Yeah. Of, uh, but yeah. I think, you know, again, you know, that's, that, 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 is, that is life, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, that's, that's something we all have to get, uh, come to terms with, the passage of time, aging, uh, loss, and all the rest of it. And, um, and again, I think as you, as you get older, you possibly appreciate more, um, you're not living so much in the future. You're just trying to uh, appreciate things as they are now, which is, which is quite hard to do because I think I've always been, you know, I, I've, um, someone who does look ahead um, and you don't want to be doing that to the exclusion of what's, what's in front of you right now. Yeah. Well, that's a good perspective to have. I guess if you're, if you can see that you don't want to do that, then you are looking at the present and appreciating where you are. Yes. Um, yeah. And actually, I mean, something, you know, I, um, something I have done a couple of times sort of over, over my I hesitate to use the word career because I haven't really been a career until recently, but, but no, I, yes, I, um, talking about the present, you know, there have been situations where I have not been, I've not been satisfied. I've not been happy. I might've been relatively, um, relatively secure financially. I mean, I, you know, I, I did have a couple of, uh, a couple of jobs that could have turned into careers. And I just thought, no, I'm not, I, I, you know, I don't, this is not leading, you know, I can't see this leading where I want to go. I don't know where it, I don't know where I want to go, but I don't think this is taking me there. So, so I walked out of a couple of things. Was that advertising, was an advertising agency? That was one of them. Yes. Yeah. That was one of them. Yeah. Advertising. And, and also when, you know, when I was a teacher, um, you know, the, the way teaching is set up here, it's not, it's not as fulfilling as it ought to be. And so I realized that fairly quickly. And, and so, right, I'm not going to keep doing this. Um, but then when you're just, if you haven't got something else lined up, you're just literally stepping out into the, into the wilderness. That's actually quite hard to do. Um, not having dependents makes that a lot easier because it's not just you who's, um, you know, yeah, in, in my case, it was just me living with that, uh, that decision. But if you've got other people, it becomes a much bigger decision. Yeah. Um, so what did you, what do you, do you think about your parents a lot and what did you learn? Like, what are you taking with you now? Um, oh gosh. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 I, I would say they are sort of in, in, you know, at the back of my mind quite a lot. Um, uh, my dad was a very hard worker, had a real sense of duty. He was a, he was a, a minister and he was very, um, he saw the pastoral side of his job as, as very important. So it was a case of uh, pe people in the parish who are going through difficulties, you know, you just need some kind of support, you know, he, he would be there. So um, I don't totally sort of, you know, what, you know, what I do isn't, isn't the same kind of thing, but I, but I, but having said that, I do realize that a lot of, um, a lot of people who watch the programs I do are very, uh, they don't just watch them. They're really enthusiastic about them. They really sort of fire them up and they, they do see me as something of a role model, uh, which is quite a responsibility. Um, in the early days, uh, people would send me emails and I, I, you know, I would, I would reply to emails and, and the thing is what happens when you're successful, uh, the numbers build up and it gets to a point where they, that just isn't possible. And so that gives a little bit of a, of a, of a feeling of, you know, I, I'm, I'm letting people down because I'm, you know, there is no, you know, there is not that kind of, of relationship, but it's not really, it's not really possible at a certain point, but through the medium of, of, of the programs, you can still give them a sense of, uh, you know, um, a sense of a person who, yeah, maybe some aspects of, uh, you know, yeah. they, they, they might want to aspire to. Um, That's interesting. So when did you, like, you started to see the numbers were going up. So you, was that hard to like let the first emails go? You know what I mean? Like, whereas you, yeah. what was that like? 
Yes, it was. I mean, again, I suppose um, the, the the way I was brought up is it's you know it's just it's just a question of manners. If somebody if somebody contacts you, you reply to them. It's just it's it's just politeness. And then and then it gets to your point where you're just doing that the whole time. And it's like if I if I keep doing this, I can't work. I've got you know. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to. I'm just going to have to stop doing this, and um, and it, it does leave this sort of residue of guilt. And um, one thing I did, I, I'm not a huge fan of social media because I mean social media makes that sort of easier. And I, I did dabble in social media, but unfortunately, the you know the the ecosystem you've got there, unfortunately, um, the uh, I, I, I started doing an Instagram page, and and, and there was. Um, there were actually some people who were responding to some posts there who started getting harassed and and basically uh uh abused by other people and it kind of and it's like you know i try to deal with that and it got to the point where the the only reason i you know the only way i can protect um we're not talking a lot of people but the only reason i can protect some some people who are potentially vulnerable is to just turn off commenting i'm just you know all you know i, I i'm i'm just that that um that actual back and forth you know that interaction unfortunately we're gonna to have to shut it down it's just me putting an announcement out there you know um like like recently this new program's coming out and the, the, there's, no, there's no there's no there's no dialogue and unfortunately that is that is just the uh, down to the somewhat toxic uh, nature, you know. If you if you if you you know, it's like it's like a pond, you know. If you start delving into the social media um, ecosystem, there's stuff down there that you really you, you know you, you sort of don't want to know about. You don't want to deal with. And unfortunately, um, I think it's something I feel quite strongly about. I think I think social media could be much much better than it is. Uh, you know, we put up with it because that's what we've got. And it's, you know, it's, but it doesn't necessarily serve the interests of the users uh, anything like as well as it could do. That's interesting. So I am surprised that that happened on Instagram because you usually hear those stories on Facebook or yeah. on Twitter, right? I, yeah, but I think uh, in, in my case, well, um, I mean, that's the only thing that I had that I had experience of, and I think I think you know if if there are people who want to, um, you know, for whatever reasons they they just want to sort of uh, make other people's lives difficult, they they will just find whatever you know means. Yeah, so that's too bad because so, that could have been a way for you to talk to people without it taking all day, you know. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. you know, um, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think I think it's a great idea, but it, you know, it's one of those things which is a great idea, but in practice, it falls short of, of what it could be. Right. So what about when people, because I think you told me last time that you get recognized a lot. Like you're, you, I think you even told me you would be walking around New York City or wherever, right? Did you tell me that? And then people just are always spotting you, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and nowadays it's it's sort of you know even in even in Mongolia or Fiji or whatever, you know, it's yeah, it's, it's, every, it's like, like yeah. the entire world mm. you're recognizable. Mm. So, um, how is that? for you now like i mean i guess you're not seeing anybody right now but. it's it's um it, it it's a mixed blessing uh because i mean the fact i'm in the inter the entertainment business and and so the fact that somebody says hello or i've seen you on the tv i mean that is great because if 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 that wasn't happening uh then that's probably a sign that i need to, to think about another job you know so that 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 you know that is really good uh you know that, that sort of testifies to the fact that, that the, the programs are very successful However, um, I can't, turn, you can't turn it off. I mean, maybe face masks now, you know, maybe, uh, maybe that will give me a bit, you know, if, if they become more of a, a, a long-term thing. Um, I and feel like they'll still recognize you though. Yeah, I've, I, honestly, I've, I, I've had people, I've had people, I've had, I've been walking along the, the, the sidewalk and I've, I've, I've been wearing like a beanie and I've had people recognize me from behind and they'll, you know, the, the, the car will toot and they'll, they'll wave and, and shout my name, you know, so it's, I don't so know. So what do they record? They recognize your walk or something? What do it, they it, 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 it could be the walk. It could be the, it could be the hair. I don't uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. um, but the, yeah, so you, you, you can't turn it off. And then the, the other thing, the other thing, unfortunately, is it means I've sort of got to be on my best behavior. 
um, because all the time, you, you know, when you're not anonymous, that, he, you know, that, that relates back to the whole, the whole social media thing, social media, so many people, you know, you go on there, you're anonymous. It should almost, unless you live in a, in a repressive regime, you should not be anonymous. You know, if, if you, if you are, if you're prepared to stand by what you're saying, if you want to interact with other people, do it as your real self. You know, there's something a bit dodgy about being anonymous. Um, but I mean, in, in my case, it's yeah. The, 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 the fact that you are, you are, I am you know, constantly recognised. That that can be a little bit oppressive. You know, you, I do find myself yearning. It would be nice just to switch it off occasionally, and so I can, you know, I can be bad tempered or whatever. That's that's the thing. You know, if I'm uh, bad tempered or rude, sometimes you know, sometimes sometimes being rude is justified uh and you know i will stand by that sometimes again on a bad day some of us we might be rude to somebody and then oh, you know that's i shouldn't have done that but then if, if people know who you are then suddenly it's you know it, it escalates yeah. and so all the time sort of best behavior best behavior which is you know can be a bit yeah uh can be a bit uh a bit tiring you know yeah a bit of a drag but that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, yeah. all the time anytime you go out i would imagine you just never know who's watching you and mm. who's going to talk about it and tell everybody they know too mm. right that was yeah. spread I, like I, wildfire i guess yes i you know that um i mean it hasn't you know it hasn't got to the levels of you know it's not the same as being like a, a Hollywood A-lister where you, you know, you just have to live in your, in your gated mansion. You have right, to have right. smoke glass windows. No, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't got to that. And, and yeah, I, don't, yeah. don't, I don't think it will somehow. And, and well, I'm, quite, really I'm quite, good, quite, happy with, quite happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. It's a better, better place where you are. It's a sweet mm. spot. Yeah. So let me ask you a few more sort of like big questions and then we'll wrap up and you can uh, go into the garden mm. or go look for some fish or see your brother. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds so good. I probably asked you this last time, but I am going to ask it again. Cause I like to ask it. Who is Jeremy Wade? Who are you? Mm. Little question. Little question. You see, this is me. I sort of go in, I've got to think about, you know, I just intellectualize that too much. Um, I, I think I, I, I am somebody who is in, in the lucky position. Who's, who's, who's sort of you know struggled a bit for a lot of his life and has suddenly found himself in a in a in a good spot and is is appreciating that um i i think another another answer to that which i think possibly um reflects this the success of the tv programs i think in some sense i i am a sort of every man as well in that I think people can watch, for example, a River Monsters episode and the way we make it, they, they can sort of imagine themselves with me. It's like, you know, if, if, if I explain what's, what's happening, what's going through my head, I think people can relate to that. And it's so, so you, you know, as well as being an individual, I, I think what I do in the TV programs is, is, is sort of reflect back the viewer's own uh personality possibly yeah i i think there are you know there's there's obviously a lot despite all the differences between people there is an awful lot in common as well and i, and I suppose what i try to do is tap into that and sort of transmit that and bring people in through doing that um and that, and that is you know part of that is flawed i mean it's interesting because uh I know that if, if I'm on camera and if I mess up or if I lose it a bit, you know, if I, if I swear, um, I, that, you know, we, sh we shoot maybe 50 hours of film to make, to make one hour. You know, if, if, I start, if I start to lose the plot, I know that, you know, they're going to use that. They're going to use that because, the, and, and, the, and the reason is because that, that, you know, that shows my fallibility. It shows that I'm a real person. Um, and what you don't want to do and, and i totally appreciate that now i'm i'm, I'm happy with that uh, in the early days it's like why why are you showing that it makes me look bad but actually no what it does it shows that you're a real person 
Well, that's like what we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. It's about Mm -hmm. the authenticity, having a conversation and being real, the real you. So that is good. But there's, but you know, we all have a slightly bad side, a slightly dark side. And so do, and so do I. And and, and occasionally out it comes and like, whoops, okay, there it is. You saw that. Let's put it back in the box. Let's try and, (laughs) let's try, let's try and keep it in its box for a while. But I've got that as well. And I try and sort of work, work through that. That's so funny. Um, (laughs) If you could change one thing about yourself, what would you change? Oh gosh! I, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd quite like to sort of rewind a, a couple of decades physically. That would be quite good. But I suppose that's you know that's not what you're talking about, really. Um, I don't know. Uh, a, a side gig that I've that I'm you know I'm always trying to do is I'm, I'm as well as the TV work I, I try to write and uh that require i find it very hard uh it requires a lot of discipline and i think just uh a bit more discipline there it's one of one of those things though that once you know once it starts to work it it, it gets it, you get that positive feedback and and it, it builds momentum but actually getting it rolling to start with is really hard so a little a little bit more self-discipline which you know okay. it's, might be getting a bit late for that but um possibly no you <laughs> you are a perfect example of it's never too late to arrive mm. where you mm. you know where you need to be or where you want mm. to be right so forget that it's not too late okay it's, good um if you could live anywhere you've been everywhere are are Mm. you do you choose to live in the uk because you like it more than anything or would you choose a different place if you if all things were equal um without going into detail there is an awful lot about the uk that i really don't like but uh friends and family are here um i do like the countryside i like the weather um uh before my tv work took off i was i was i was um i was toying with the idea of moving to portugal because i uh i i was a fairly fluent portuguese speaker um but i'd never been to portugal and the reason for, the reason for that was i i'd been going to brazil a lot so i i learned portuguese by by spending a lot of time in brazil um i I've, I've spent one long weekend in lisbon which i thought was great um and I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, that idea is sort of coming back. Uh, uh, Portugal is another, you know, the, an, another example of a country that has done pretty well in the current crisis. You don't, you don't hear a lot about them, but they, they rolled their sleeves up and they have, they've done a good job, you know, which, and again, I, th- I think, you know, those places that, that, that there are out there, you, I think people are starting to look at look at them now and go, what is it? What is it they do? What are the, what are they getting right. right that we aren't? You know. So I think, um, yeah, Portugal maybe. Okay. And what do you want out of life? Gosh, um, a, a big part of that is is work. Um, I um, I can't see myself retiring. I I. I I, I, I like to work, um, but th- you know, that is work that is that is producing. It is producing something, and and that that gives me satisfaction. But it's it's very, um, it is it is quite a big thing for me that 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 is also um, enjoyed, appreciated by other people, and particularly when I look back to the fact that um, in my in my twenties I, w- I was this thwarted teacher. You know, I was in, you know I wanted to be a teacher, and that didn't work out um and suddenly here i am in a situation where i have this massive audience and and people are learning things from what i do and they're doing it in in, in an enjoyable way and uh that feels good so i you know i want to keep on doing that and uh, as we've discussed earlier on I, I i see plenty of room for improvement in that as well um and I've forgotten the question. I was, I, I tend to oh, go that, off on tangents. That, that, that <laughs> wasn't a tangent. That, it was that, really, that was, that, that was it. Okay. That that was, was, the, yeah. Well, the question was, what yeah. do you want out of life? And what work, what, work what, was a big part of it. That's, that's, that's a big one. That is, a, that is a very big one. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, just to stay, to stay healthy, to have it, to have a bit more time. And, uh, and, uh, despite the being, being the introvert, you know, just, just, uh, in, enjoy other people as well. Okay, great. I think that's good. 
So uh, I think we're good. Did we not cover anything? I mean, are there, is there, or should we just save it for next time? Uh, no, that's, that's, that, that, that felt, that felt very good. Very nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good to see. Uh, yeah. Good to see you're, 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 you're doing well. And, and this is, this is still going on and, and you know, it's, it's doing, doing well, isn't it? It's, yeah. Um, I mean, good. I have to say, I'm surprised that because mm-hmm. for me, like I'm all about the one-to-one and like you mm-hmm. were saying, us sitting down across from each other and just looking at each other and having a great conversation. So when this happened, before this happened, I always would say no to anybody who wanted to do it remotely. Like they wanted mm-hmm. to do it on the phone mm-hmm. or they wanted mm-hmm. to do a Zoom. And I would say, no, this is in-person only because to me, it's all about that. But then after this happened, I really had no choice. So I was like, okay, I better just do it. And so I did. And I have to tell you, I'm thrilled that I'm doing it. I'm, yes. I'm definitely going to go back to in-person when I can, but it's so much better to me than not doing it. Like I oh, thrive yes. on this and people are real now with everybody home. It's yeah. like really gaining momentum more than it ever has, which is yes. great to see. So it's yep. good, knock on wood. Yeah, and and you know what it does as well. It opens exactly. It opens things up because even even uh, even in sort of like a, no- a normal situation, you could talk to somebody in Australia uh, who's you know who's not going to you know they're not going to come and sit down on a, at a table, but you can just you can just call them up and, and yeah. off you go. Yeah. So I guess I'll do both, I mean, you know, I'll open up to both, mm. I guess, possibilities. Mm-hmm. But like if somebody's in New York, I would definitely prefer that. But this is great too. Like, I feel like we had mm. no problem having a good conversation today, even though we're on computers. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, we're not getting any sort of weird lag or anything. No, it seems, it seems yeah. fine. Yeah, which we could have. I had had a few sna- uh, technical snafus, but they're not terrible. And now we're doing it. We're putting it up on YouTube too, which is nice because then people can see the videos and not right. just listen to the podcast. So right. it's a right. bonus in that way too. So yeah. it's good. If you like this talk with Jeremy, you will probably love the long conversation I had with him last year. You can check that out. I will put a link in the description below, or you can click on the card up here to get to that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button, tap on subscribe, and you'll get notified every time I drop a new video with one of your favorite celebrities. If you don't like it, that's okay. Just make sure you tell all your friends and neighbors to check out Really Famous with Kara Mayer Robinson because the videos are really awful. They have to be checked out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.